Perfect, thank you. Uh, thanks for joining everyone. Welcome to the fourth and final part of this short and sweet webinar series on the EXACT. Today we'll be talking about the difference between EXACT devices. Presenting today is Richard Gray, Solution Architect at x Penton. I'm Netta Goldfriend, Regional Marketing Specialist for EMEA, and I will be moderating today's webinar. A few things to go over before we get started. Uh, due to the number of people that are attending today's webinar, we will keep everyone muted. If you have questions, please use the questions function on the GoToWebinar panel. We will have time to answer some questions at the end of the presentation. Finally, this webinar will be recorded and you will receive a link so that you can review the webinar at your convenience. I will now turn it over to Rich. Hi, thank you, Netta. And um, as she said, welcome to the fourth or final um, exact webinar series of our short and sweet webinar format. Um, this topic we're going to be discussing the differences between the different exact models available okay some differences in features and functionality and a little bit of explanation around some other topics that we covered briefly in previous webinar so the exact comes in several different versions and also has optional extras with it some of you will be familiar with some of this functionality already, no doubt. So we're going to run through some of the key benefits and features of some of the different models. Okay. Now, depending on your requirements and price point, the exact comes in four, essentially four different models. Okay. So we're going to run through these in sequence now, and then we'll talk about some of the optional extras that you could also use in terms of handheld device or software. The first one being, quite simply, the exact basic model. Okay. Now, this is mainly aimed at your commercial print market, I would say. Okay. For a converter who simply wants to know very simple density functions and metrics. Okay. The exact is then configured as a basic densitometer. It allows some of the workflows that you will have seen previously on other webinars so we can have either a density or a density plus tonal value measurement of either a yellow magenta cyan or black workflow standard four color process workflow it also supports all of the four measurement conditions m0 through to m3 for different print standards but the unit is essentially just a handheld device okay it doesn't allow connection into any of the x right or third party softwares or has any Bluetooth support. It does, however, allow you connection into Exact Manager for troubleshooting and data backup. Okay. If that option is a, too, a little too basic for you, then there is a second option here, which is simply Basic Plus. This gives you some extra functionality available it is still a density only model but what it also allows you access to is the job wizard workflow okay so not only can you use the standard device in the basic mode as a cmyk style of operation but you can use the device through exact manager and build up your own cmyk workflows if you're working to something other than the international print standard. The job workflow then allows a semi-automated workflow, measurements of substrate, solid patch, tint, overprint, etc. and can be configured easily through the exact manager suite. Okay. Moving on from the density only functions, we have the exact standard. Now this has a full spectral capability. So we can do all of the standard CMYK and job-based workflows you've just seen on the other two devices, 
but we have full color capability as well okay what this allows you to do is access all of the color metric functions of the device itself so we have access to pantone libraries we have access to search functionality we have access to best match we can look at graphical displays as well as numerical displays this is a generally quite a good all-round option for converters requiring both density and color metric values but not needing any of the advanced functionality okay the fourth model in the range is exactly that it is the exact advanced this is typically the most popular option for ink companies a lot of flexible packaging converters it's also popular with uh, a lot of pre-media companies as well okay it of course allows all the functionality of the three previous de devices that we've just described okay we can also do a lot more in terms of the enhanced metrics we can measure opacity of a printed white or paper we can measure yellowness index we can measure optical brightness we also have the option for multiple user profiles on the device so we could con potentially configure the device to have two different entirely different sets of settings for two different customers and simply switch between them by use of a logon password for example In terms of the standard and the advanced models, there are optional extras for these in terms of how you can take a measurement. We can purchase the instrument which will simply measure in spot color only mode, or we can have either purchase, on-product purchase or upgradable functionality to allow a full scan workflow, okay? Through some supporting software, this could be, for example, x write Ink Key Control, as in this example, we can either have a handheld functionality, as you can see on the left-hand side, or we can have a full automated software suite where the exact, with the exact auto scan track, allows the measurements of a full offset color bar up to B1 size. Software allows configuration of color bars. We can retrofit to existing designs if necessary. Again, this can be done in the field or as a default option. We mentioned this on previous webinars, but the latest firmware and exact manager software, the standard and advanced models get automatic access to the latest Pantone master libraries. So these will be the coated and uncoated libraries that a lot of you will be familiar with. It also includes the pastels and neons libraries as well. This is done through what we call default user access into our Pantone Live Cloud. You still have the option for a subscription-based access as well. But here you can access the latest version four libraries in digital format, put them straight onto your device. This includes all of the previous version three library data, going back to 2016, plus all of the new 297 colors released in September last year. Couple of slides now on some extra functionality you may not have been aware of, okay? Both in the exact basic plus, standard and advanced models, you also have the, the configurable option of reading, using the device as a plate reader on offset printing plates. You can then check production plates for dot accuracy. You can also then back calibrate certain plates into specific fingerprint trials that you've run okay there's a link at the end of this webinar on a specific white paper of how to configure your device to do that
again another topic we've mentioned previously the standard and advanced models using a piece of software called net profiler can have an embedded profile on that device for instrument accuracy and the profile is then carried around with the device rather than specifically on the software itself so using this device remotely you're getting the same level of device accuracy that you would tethered up to a specific software platform that profile is a subscription-based service for the exact model it's a very straightforward process you get a calibrated card and you complete a monthly performance check the software then checks the performance of your instrument in the field and if it is drifted for in terms of instrument use or dust contamination it will simply apply a profile back to the device to bring you back into a calibrated centroid one of the newer options you have with the exact family is that you also have an available sample and cup fixture which is an instrument stand as you can see which allows the accurate positioning of pretty much any sample you would want this is typically used for plastic cups or metal cans for example what this allows you to do then is you can very accurately place repeatedly place samples which may be printed in the round or traditionally were very difficult or cumbersome to turn out anything other than a, a visual assessment on and it can that can then be written into specific operating procedures if necessary this unit is also interchangeable with our sphere spectrophotometer the ci6x range so it can be used across multiple platforms as well And finally, in this webinar series, all of the models that you've seen, basic, basic plus, standard, through to the advanced, and the scan functionality, can all be upgraded directly in the field, depending on the serial number of your device. Upgrade's a simple process on purchase. You would simply get an access code email to you from our orders department. You simply go into exact manager into the instrument configuration there's an option there simply to enter the code that would unlock the functionality of your device device doesn't need to come back to the hardware service or physical upgrade it can all be done in the field very easily so thank you very much for your attention on this short and sweet webinar series you'll see there below various links into some of the topics we've discussed today and on previous webinars. Thanks very much for your attention and I'll pass back to Netta for any questions. Thank you, Richard. Okay, thank you. If you have any questions that uh, you would like to submit, you can submit them now. In the meantime, I will be uh, I will pop up an, another uh, poll question for you to answer while we we wait. And uh, please take your time and submit any questions you would like to to ask right now. Okay, thank you. Okay, Richard, we have uh, the first question here is, can you measure metallic colors like PMS uh, 874 or 877? Good question. Um, it really depends on how metallic the color is. You will get a result measuring 
Pantone's metallics with an exact. However, what you won't see is the degree of luster or brightness. What you'll also need to check is how repeatable the measurement is. A lot of the times with the metallics, we would recommend a sphere-based instrument for analysis. But we do have other customers using it, the exact model for measurement of metallics. You don't get a true representation of the visual, but you will get a quality control pass-fail. What you also need to check is how repeatable the measurement is. You would be best advised to either average out the measurements or take the measurement from different angles to see if there was any significant difference. Okay. Okay, thank you. Another question submitted is, can you write a report of colors? Uh, if you mean, can you get data out of the instrument directly then we covered this on a previous webinar there is a an application called data capture which allows you to take the data out into excel or notepad form if you want a full report on on colors then we would normally recommend a software suite such as color cert for packaging or color iqc where you can format and customize your own pdfs directly Okay, and the final question we have here, uh, is it possible to measure pastel colors and luminous colors? Yes, yeah, absolutely. Um, the pastels and neons library, like we described, comes free of charge with the standard or the advanced instrument. Um, the geometry of the exact is the recommended one for fluorescence anyway. Um, we also, sell some of the instrumentation into industries specifically for measuring fluorescence on things like clothing and certain paper production as well okay okay thank you richard well that was the the last question we have time for in this short and sweet uh, webinar today again we will follow up if we didn't get to your question uh, as well you will receive an email with the link to the recording of this webinar. So this marks the end of the webinar for today. Uh, thank you and for joining and uh, have a great day.